Chapter 3 Vascular Lesion Treatment Vascular lesion treatments can be accomplished with the 755 nanometer wavelength and the 1064 nanometer wavelength. See the clinical manual for a complete explanation of indications and suggested settings. Here we will demonstrate the 1064 nanometer wavelength on leg veins. Leg veins of up to 3 millimeters can be treated. The principal chromophores are oxyhemoglobin and deoxyhemoglobin in the red blood cells. These chromophores are targeted resulting in the heating of the red blood cells. The heat subsequently diffuses to the vessel wall and the vessel wall is damaged and collapses upon itself. The vessel is reabsorbed by the body over the course of the next several weeks to months. Again, it is important to review the initial consultation portion of the video to make sure a thorough initial consultation is performed. In the case of vascular lesions, pay special attention to making sure there is no underlying venous insufficiency, which requires previous diagnosis by ultrasound. Also be certain that your patients are not taking medications that will cause bleeding or bruising, such as anticoagulants, aspirin, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, vitamin E, or ginkgo biloba. Vascular treatments are done using three different spot sizes. One and a half millimeters for facial and leg vessels, three millimeters for leg vessels, and the 3 by 10 millimeter elliptical spot for leg vessels. The vascular specialty delivery system must be attached to the device. Select the appropriate spot size slider attachment and attach it to the fiber. The slider is then inserted into the specialty handpiece until the spot is locked into place at the marking SS. The appropriate distance gauge is then attached to the end of the handpiece, depending on the spot size selected. The parameters are selected based upon the size of the vessel. The diameter of the vessel will dictate the pulse duration chosen. Before beginning, make certain the skin is absolutely clean and dry. For smaller vessels, for example those under half a millimeter, a shorter pulse duration of 10 to 20 milliseconds will be selected. For larger vessels, for example those over 1.5 millimeters, a longer pulse duration of 50 to 60 milliseconds will be selected. Start with affluence in the lower range of suggested energies for a given vessel size and then observe the skin response. Adjust fluence upwards or pulse duration downwards depending upon the response. Be sure to set your DCD cooling. Do not double pulse or overlap. When determining optimal energy settings, if you do not see any response, do not pulse over the same area until five minutes have passed and the area is completely cooled. The treatment endpoint is spasm and darkening of the vessel. It is also possible that the vessel will disappear momentarily. Once treatment is completed, follow the post-care instructions found in the clinical manual.